here in the studio with me are the members of Jellyfish. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. Good. 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 We're freezing. You free? Well, I mean, where'd you just come from? Well, Texas. Toronto. Texas. We're in Texas. Toronto. No, you're in Toronto now. You're in Toronto now. So how's it been with uh, Carl Wallinger World Party on the tour? And how did you guys get on the tour to do the whole, the whole thing? The North American. Um, I guess they liked our record. Um, they've been great. They've been, it's been a really good bill. We've been getting encores every night. You know, it's been it's been a good bill, I think. Now, for those, I guess the album just came out in Canada. For those who don't know Jellyfish, this is Jellyfish Part One. Where's everybody from? <laughs> I'm from LA. LA. San Francisco. Yeah, the rest of us are from San Francisco. So kind of, kind of based in San Francisco. San Francisco. How did the band come together and uh, get the deal with Virgin? Banana Man. Uh, Banana Man. Uh, well, um, let's see. Uh, Jason, and I, and Andy had demoed a bunch of songs, mm -hmm. and uh, we shopped our tape around and got uh, some interest from about 12 labels. We had a bunch of uh, companies after us. Mm -hmm. Pretty fortunate, and uh, we finally ended up signing with Charisma. Now, Actually, Virgin. Well, Charisma Virgin, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Now, Charisma, I can understand possibly taking a chance on, on a band like Jellyfish. Did some of the other labels want to change things around? They wanted you to sort of be something a little bit different than what you were? Mm, I, I don't know if they wanted to change it. I mean, it, but they definitely wanted to release... Their, their view of the band was different than what our view of the band was. So we, with Charisma, we have, like, full control over everything, over the artwork, over what's released. So that was much... More, that was much more what we were going for, you know. Um, and it's a lot of the other other labels just, you know, if they heard they heard it, some hit songs on the record, and that's why they wanted to sign the band. But that wasn't really what the, the sole purpose of signing the band was about. Yeah. How long did you have to wait until you got signed? I mean, was it a long shopping process, or was it relatively short? <laughs> mm -hmm. it took about three months. I mean. We were going out with different uh, companies every day. We ate really well for about three months. <laughs> <laughs> for about three months, you got like serious dinner, lunch, yeah, and yeah. breakfast time in. Yeah. We recorded heavily. Did you really? Yeah. Some now, when I listened place. to the record, there were some things that reminded me a lot of, of the Beatles, um, you know, who? that sort of, yeah, of who, 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 who. <laughs> but there were some things that I thought, hey, I, you know, I could hear Todd Rundgren producing this no problem. When it came to choosing producers for the project and sharing credits and all that, how did you go about choosing them? Who did you really want to work with? Well, you know uh, who it was, right? That's okay. It was Albie <laughs> Galutin yeah. of Saturday Night Fever fame. Yay! He produced yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Anyways, there was no, there was no contest. Really? Yeah, there was no, no contest. Once we heard that he produced guy. Saturday Night Fever, I mean, everybody was out of the running. This is it, eh? You yeah. said no, no, no. no. no this guy's yeah. got to do it. <laughs> shadow dancing too. It turned out to be shadow the best dancing show, too shadow. by Andy Gibb. That's yeah. right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, he did. A moment of silence, please, <laughs> for Andy Gibb. Right. Okay, good. <clears throat> Wait, what else did he do? He did uh, some Kenny Rogers record. Oh, we did. He did Clapton. Uh, I shot the sheriff. Did he really? Yeah. There we go. There he's, we go. He's a cool guy. What did he bring to the band? What did he bring to the to the studio that you wanted to use him for in particular? I mean, did he change things around a lot? Mm, he solidified a lot of our ideas. Um, there were some songs that were incomplete and others that were virtually done. And he kind of just, he knew right away what we wanted to do and the kind of records we wanted to make and how we wanted to tackle all the rhythm tracks. We, you know, we used a lot of real instruments and stuff. Kind of steered clear of the synthesizers. Yeah. And, uh, kind of made records like they, you know, all our favorite records were made in the 70s. And so he knew how to do that really well. Henceforth, the clothing, I take it. Is this like vintage 70s clothing or? Sure. I got this in Toronto yesterday. Did you? It's the history of auto racing in one shirt. Uh -huh. can, we get a, can we get a close up of this shirt, please? It Thank really you. is. Thank you. Okay. High polyester content. High polyester content. I like to wear oil products. <laughs> But Roger got like, scored this butterfly shirt. The butterfly We're, shirt, yeah. Kind of a uh, Starland vocal band throwback. <laughs> okay, okay, I got, but no, it's the jacket that's just got me right there. <laughs> Three of the ugliest colors put together. <laughs> we rated the, uh, he rated the uh, Sanford and Sunset. Uh -huh, I, I see, I, I see. love Mr. Limpet. <laughs> My favorite movie as a child. All right, we've got to go to the video, and you guys are doing, unfortunately, this is the only date in Canada so far, right? So yeah. you've got to. Tonight. Yeah, you've got to come back. You're going to be at the Danforth Music Hall tonight, opening up for World Party. You go on at 8? Yeah. yeah. Okay, close Get enough. Get there early. 
get there early and are planning to come back. Are you going to go out after we'll this? Come back, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Do because I mean I'm sure they want to see you in various places in Canada. Not but just we're going to do all Loverboy covers. All Loverboy covers. Yeah. Right. Throw a few okay. Brian Adams covers in there. <laughs> possibly some Gino Vanelli. Some couple, Gino Vanelli. Some Gordon Ken Lightfoot. Tobias. A couple some Gordon Lightfoot. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Toronto. Pardon? Yeah, Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> ooh, 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 now we know. All right. <laughs> Good enough then. Tell you what, you can introduce the video to that camera right there. You introduce it. Um, um, this next video. <laughs> is by a jellyfish called the king is half undressed. <laughs>